Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply linear regression algorithm for the given data set to predict the value of dependent variable given the value of independent variable using matrix method. In this case, uh, we have been given a data set with uh, four weeks uh, sales data. Given this particular data, we need to apply the linear regression algorithm in matrix form. And then we need to predict the sales for fifth week in this case. So according to this particular thing, the X will be the independent variable and the Y is dependent variable here. Now uh, we need to apply this particular algorithm that is linear regression in matrix um, form. First, we will try to write everything in terms of uh, matrix over here. So X transpose that is nothing but the independent variable that is one, two, three, four here. And the Y transpose is the dependent variable that is nothing but 1, 3, 4, 8 over here. So given this uh, dependent and independent variable, we will represent them in the matrix form again something like this. X is equal to in the first column, I will introduce uh, 1 and in the second column is actually the independent uh, variable over here. This one is nothing but the bias in the given data set over here. Now we will represent this particular y something like this in a single column 1, 3, 4, 8 over here. So given this particular uh, independent and uh, dependent variable, the linear regression in the matrix uh, form looks uh, something like this. A is equal to x transpose multiplied by x, its inverse, multiplied by x transpose multiplied by the value of y over here. Now we will try to solve this particular equation. And then we will get the value of A. A is a single column matrix. The first value will be the intercept. And the second one is the slope or you can say that the coefficient of independent variable. Now the question is how to solve this one. So according to this particular equation, first uh, we need to solve this particular part. And then we need to calculate the inverse. And then we need to multiply this with the X transpose and Finally, we need to multiply this with y over here. So first we will try to calculate x transpose multiplied by x here. We know the value of uh, x. First we will write the x transpose here. This is the x transpose multiplied by x over here. So this is a normal uh, matrix multiplication. This row is multiplied to this particular column. So 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1. That is nothing but 4 here. And again, the same row is multiplied to the second column. So 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 into 4. That is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is equal to 10 over here. Now, this second row is multiplied with the first column. We will get 10 here. The second row is multiplied with second column. We will get 30 over here. So this is nothing but this particular part we have calculated. Next, we need to calculate its inverse. That is nothing but the inverse of this particular matrix over here. Now the question is how to calculate the inverse here. To calculate the inverse, uh, first we need to calculate the cofactor uh, matrix here. So for this particular first value, we need to remove this particular row and this particular column. So what is left here? 30. So 30 is the answer over here. So you will get 30 over here. And then for the second one, we need to remove this row and column. We will left with uh, 10 here. And the third one is actually it will be plus minus combination. So 30 will be plus and 10 will be minus over here. For this one, we need to remove this column and row. We will left with the 10 here again. For this particular 30, this row and this column, if you remove, we will left with the 4 over here. Again, second row will start with minus plus and so on. And the third one will again start with plus minus and so on. Now, once you calculate this particular cofactor matrix, we need to divide this particular matrix with uh, the determinant of this particular matrix. So the determinant of this particular matrix is 4 into 30, that is 120, minus 10 into 10, that is 100. So 120 minus 100 is equal to, uh, you can say that uh, uh, 20 over here. So once you divide it by 20, so 30 divided by 20 is equal to 1.5. 10 divided by 20 is equal to 0.5. 10 divided by 20 is 0.5. 4 divided by 20 is equal to 0.2 here. So we need to calculate the inverse. If you know how to calculate this particular inverse in your calculator, you can perform it rather than doing it manually. But this is a simple process what we need to follow to calculate the inverse of a given matrix here. That is first we need to calculate the cofactor matrix and then we need to divide it by 
the determinant of that particular matrix over here. Now uh, we have calculated this inverse term. For this uh, inverse term, we need to multiply this particular x transpose in the third step. So this is what we have already calculated. Now we need to multiply with x transpose here. This is multiplied with x transpose here. This row that is uh, 1.5 and minus 0.5 is multiplied to this column first. So 1.5 into 1 minus 0.5 into 1 over here. So that is nothing but uh, 1 is the answer here. So 1.5 into 1. 0.5 into 2 that is 1 so 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0.5 here similarly the row is multiplied with the third column we will get 0 here the same row is multiplied with the fourth column we will get this one here as the answer now we will start with the second row second row is multiplied with first column we will get minus 0.3 second row second column we will get minus 0.1 second row third column we will get 0.1 second row fourth column we will get 0.3 over here so once you get this particular matrix, we need to multiply this entire matrix with respect to Y matrix here. So that is what I have written in the fourth step here. So this matrix we have obtained in the previous step. We will multiply it with a Y matrix that is nothing but the independent variable over here. So this row is multiplied to this particular column. So 1 into 1, 0.5 into 3, 0 into 4, minus 0.5 into 8 over here. So once you solve it, you will get minus 1.5. Second row is multiplied with this particular column. That is nothing but minus 0.3 into 1, minus 0.1 into 3, 1 into 4, 0.3 into 8 over here. We will get 2.2 in this case. So once you get this particular final matrix, that is A, so the first value, as I said earlier, it will be intercept. And the second value is nothing but the slope or the coefficient of x in this case. We know the equation for linear equation that is uh, y is equal to a0 plus a1x. a0 is an intercept, a1 is a slope or you can say that the coefficient of x. We have calculated this intercept, we have calculated the slope here. We will put those particular values here that is uh, minus 1.5 and 2.2. We will get the final linear regression equation here. So once you get the linear regression equation using matrix method, we need to predict the sales for the fifth week that is nothing but x is equal to 5 over here so we need to put this particular 5 in this equation we will get the value of y is equal to 9.5 in this case so what it shows is uh, we have applied the linear regression in matrix mode for the given data set and then we got this particular linear regression equation once you get this uh, linear regression equation now uh, we have predicted the sales for the fifth week in this case that is nothing but 9.5 over here. So in the previous video, I have discussed how to apply linear regression in a normal tabular method. In this case, I have discussed how can we use linear regression in matrix mode over here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.